Hey friends, welcome to Tammy's house. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul, a Walmart haul, and a, just a few little things that I got on clearance or sale from JCPenney. But we're going to be talking about gifts, Christmas gifts and just birthday gifts, those just any type of gift that you can get on the cheap. And I am all for that. <laughs> so let's just get started. And I'm going to talk to you and show you what I got from Penny's to go with some things that I got from the Dollar Tree. I was looking through my browser or just scrolling one day. And I seen that Penny's had a sale on these towels. Now these are the bath towels. And they, they had these for like $3.49 or $3.79 a piece which I thought was an excellent deal. These are pretty thick. Now these are not like your big fluffy beach towels, but they're still pretty big. I'm gonna open one up, but they are very nice for the money. And I got to thinking, I thought I can give two of those to some of my people that I need to get Christmas gifts for. And I thought that I could put a beautiful red Christmas ribbon around them and then put something inside there. So the first thing I thought of were these bath sponges that you get from the Dollar Tree. These are nice. They're on a wooden stick and they've got the scrunchy, not scrunchy, I hope it's not scrunchy. The scrunchy, what is it called y'all? The puff, they've got the puff on the end and you could put this on top of two of those towels and then put a ribbon, a real pretty red ribbon around that for a Christmas gift. And you could also put like a fancy bar of soap in there with that. And they do sell those at the Dollar Tree. And, or you could put a lotion or something like that. But two towels wrapped with this and I may put something else in there, but I've got some ribbon out. Y'all bear with me. I've had surgery, and I just got my big bandage off yesterday, so I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants here. But I got some ribbon. I thought some ribbon like this, and I did get this from the Dollar Tree. This was last year's ribbon. But that would be pretty on it, or a solid red on this pretty white bath towel. It would look good, but see how pretty that is? And then put that bath sponge in front. And if you wanted to really make it nice, you could go to Bath and Body and get a lotion or a shower gel. But I'm gonna give these to my Sunday school teachers that teach my grandchildren. And then I have a, an extra one I have a long Christmas list, y'all. I love Christmas. I love it with all my heart, and I love to give gifts. And so I thought that would be nice for a gift. Just take it, tie it in a ribbon, put that sponge down in front of it, put your soap. I got the green sponges, so it'd be Christmas looking, which they have all different colors. They had green and purple, and they even had gray, I think, if you wanted to do one for a man. But that is going to look darling. But I think I'm going to get some red velvet. I think I've got some red velvet ribbon back there that I'm going to do that in. And that's one suggestion I have. And you can check on the Penny's website and see if they still have those towels. I don't know a lady out there that can't use a good bath towel if she doesn't use it for anything but her hair, you know? So I went with white, but they had all different colors. Now, they also had at the Dollar Tree the men's Dove Care, Men Care Soap, the Dove. And I actually bought this for my husband, but you could put that with some different color towels for a man and then get the gray bath sponges. Or you could just get one of those sponge things to put in there, one of those mesh sponges to put on there. But I'm just sort of thinking outside the box because... I, let's be honest, y'all. There's not a lot of money floating around. Not down here where I'm at, anyway. So, I'm just trying to be creative. I found this Vaseline Cocoa Glow. 
and this is in a little container like this. I thought that would make a nice gift. If you just want to recognize somebody and just give them a Christmas card and put this on top of it and say Merry Christmas, if it's like a teacher or a neighbor or someone that you're just, you know, a friend or something, that is really nice. They have these night lights at the Dollar Tree now. Now, they're Spider-Man. And I bought the Mandalorian, too, but I couldn't find it. Like I said, I've been sort of down. I've got a little thing going on here with my wrist and my elbow, and so I didn't, I wasn't able to pull out a lot of stuff to look for it. But they do have the Mandalorian. They have ones for girls, like princesses and the little Hawaiian girl. And I think they even might have had... The mermaid, the new mermaid. And uh, then they had several for boys, Paw Patrol. But this is a cute gift. If you just have a niece or a nephew and you can put some money on this, you know, if you want to give them $5, $10 and give them a cute night light if they're like 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. But I'm going to give these to my grandchildren and I've got to find some more. Because if I wasn't mistaken, this was the last Spider-Man, or it was the last Mandalorian. But I've got to find some more. But I'm sure they'll have it. They usually have what you need. But it's always good to get what you need when you can. Because it, it's not promised to be there. <laughs> Another cute Chris, uh, Christmas gift or birthday gift is to get the little Play-Dohs from Walmart. Now, these were 57 cents at Walmart for the little Play-Dohs. You could get three of these. And if you didn't want to buy the expensive Play-Doh toys to go with it, you can go in the Dollar Tree and for $1.25 get some cookie cutters. I know they have the Christmas ones out now, the cookie cutters, and some little things like that to put with the Play-Doh. Molds or um, cookie cutters or that sort of thing. And then you only have a few dollars in a little gift for a niece or a nephew or even you know, even if you are on a limited income, and I know it, most of us are, if we're truthful, and you need to buy for a grandchild, but you just don't have the money to go out and spend $25, $50 on a grandchild. If you just have 6 or $7 per grandchild, or even $5, you can make up a cute gift from the Play-Doh and... The little things from the Dollar Tree to go with it. You can do that. Um, and there's other things there too. Let's say you have a 9 or 10 year old. They have the puzzles. This is a 100 piece puzzle. I got this for one of my grandchildren. But if you needed to t take this and you say, okay, I've got $8 a piece I can spend on each great grandchild or grandchild or niece or nephew. You can get one of these for the little older children and put five dollars on it you know put it in an envelope and tape it to it or if you wanted to get something else to go with it you can do that you know there's nothing saying that we have to put ourselves into deep debt during christmas and like i said i love christmas but i start planning before november i start planning before december trying to get my act together which sometimes is not very easy but trying to get my act together with my Christmas list and seeing who I want to buy gifts for and who's on my Christmas list. And like I said, it's a large list, but I just love it. I just love it, and I love to buy gifts for people. If you had an older person at the Dollar Tree, they have these word search books. Now, this happens to be a Bible word search. You may have a Sunday school teacher or something like that, a neighbor. You could get one of these. And just make some cookies and put this with some cookies or a pack of candy. Or if you just wanted to give this in a card to a neighbor or a, or a Sunday school teacher and say, hey, I was thinking about you. Or a, anybody, you know, a friend. It's the thought that counts. And I, of course, when you're young, younger, a lot younger than me, you think, Oh, it's the gift, it's the gift, but it's really not. And we know that. We know that it's not the gift. And when we get older, we really know it, that it's not the gift. It's the thought behind it. But you can be creative and get some really cool gifts they're going to like. 
Now, I found these at Walmart on clearance for $3. These are throws. And these, I think, were regular $10. It says it was $7. Well, I got these for three. And I they only had two that was, the others were not wrapped up pretty, so I didn't get them. So I got two of these to give to uh, some children in my Sunday school class. And that is a nice gift on its own. You know, I may stick a candy cane down in there or something, and yellow or gold, I don't know if that's a Christmas color or not, but these kids just like to get something. You know, they just want to get something. Also, while I was at Walmart, I found the e.l.f makeup brushes and they have some pretty nice brushes at Dollar Tree too but I wanted something a little fluffier than what they had and I gave like $3.59, $3.49 for this and you could give this to somebody who uh, likes makeup or uses makeup and put that on a card or uh, some candy even, a bar of candy. My mother does that sometimes. She'll buy like a Hershey bar or a bar of candy and put some money on it, you know, for a gift. So you could do that, or you can pick up some makeup items from like the Dollar Tree if Walmart was too expensive for you. I found these at the Dollar Tree, and I bought these also for Sunday school. Are those not cute for a little girl? <laughs> They're little bathtubs, and they got bath bombs in them. And even a preteen or teen would like this because I remember when I was a young, I'm talking about a young teenager. When I was a young teenager, I would have loved to have got something like this. And I think, basically, they're like us. They just want to get something. So I got two of those. That's all they had. But I'm hoping that they'll have some more. Now, if we want to get back into the adult gifts, like I said, for the man, they have a lot of toiletry items. They have the Barbasol shaving cream. I meant to bring a can of that out to show you. They have name brand uh, shower wash that you could do for a man. And like I said, put the sponges with it or a pack of washcloths or whatever. And also a neat gift for a small gift if you don't have a lot of money is to get a calendar. And they have a wide selection of calendars at the Dollar Tree. And I know I've shown this one before, but this one just happens to be different pathways. And it's got spring pathways and fall pathways and different things, snow. But they have animals, cars, just all different kinds of things. Sayings, quotes, Bible verses. And that's a nice little gift to get for someone. And I think that's all... Is that all I've got to show y'all today? So I did find some things on uh, a hot sale at JCPenney. And I also found some good gift things at the Dollar Tree and also Walmart. I mean, as much as, you know, I'm not crazy about Walmart either, okay? I don't like some of the things they've done, and I won't get into that because that would probably be a big thing. But they do have some good sales sometimes, especially on their clearance rack. Now, I have been on their clearance aisle, and it'd be nothing really marked down that much. But then I have, and have found things like those throws and different things. So, you know, just keep your eye out and try to think outside the box. Oh, I had one more thing I wanted to show you. I got from the, excuse me, I don't want to get so close and personal with you today. <laughs> but I got these little prayer box, boxes from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. And they have a little notepad. It says, give it to God. And they've got a little notepad in there with a pen. And those make cute little gifts. And if you wanted to give a little money, you can always put the money inside the little tin like that. I think that's a great idea. And I bought these for some of my friends. And if you don't want to give anything religious, you don't have to. You can get, they have all kinds of different notebooks, notepads, all sorts of things. So, shop around. Shop around. And, like I said, keep that open mind. I, I'm trying to, and I'm really working on this thing. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. 
I know I've got a lot of new people, a lot of new friends that's come on here. And I live in central Alabama. I'm a homemaker and a, house, and a housewife. And I also am a Sunday school teacher and a grandmother. I have five grandsons. <laughs> and I love them. I love them so much. And I just love life. I like to do shopping hauls. I like to do home tours, decor things, uh, things like that. Anything to do with homemaking and a good home life, that's what I'm about. So be on the watch for different videos that are coming up. If you have any suggestions, put them down below. Talk to me in the comments. I just look forward to getting to know especially all my new friends and to my friends that I've had for a long time. I just love y'all. I love all of you. And I just want to tell you, God bless you. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm real close to that thousand mark. And if I, when I get over a thousand, I'm going to have another giveaway. So just keep your eyes and ears open for that. So everybody take care. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.